In this video, I am going to describe how to set up and run Geotech Archon 2 data monitor software. Insert the CD-ROM into the CD drive and follow the auto run instructions to open the setup package. Click on the Archon DM installer.msi to install the data monitor software. Follow the instructions in the wizard to set up the Archon 2 data monitor on your PC. Double click on the Archon 2 DM on your desktop to launch the data monitor software. The software automatically loads on the fixed frequency measurement mode. If there is a connection error, a message will appear on the screen. The user has to check the USB cables and make sure that the device is turned on. Number 1. The control keys are located on the top left corner of the form. These control keys are used to start or stop a test, or to save data. Number 2. The test settings are located in the lower left corner of the form. Using these settings, the user can choose to perform a resistance measurement of resistivity measurement. Number 3. The top right section of the form is designed to display the real-time values of the electrical resistance or resistivity and the phase angle. Number 4. If the user selects to log the test data, test data will be presented in tabulated format in the lower right section of the form. To begin the measurements, the user can select the signal frequency, 1 Hz to 10 kHz, and the sampling intervals, 5 seconds to 30 minutes. If the user chooses to perform a resistivity measurement, then they should select the geometry factor. The user can either select from the existing geometries or can enter the geometry factor manually. A geometry factor calculated is designed to help you determine the geometry factor directly in the software. The user can log the test results by pressing the Run icon. Resistance or resistivity data will be presented in the tabulated format. The user can select to monitor the test results in a chart format. The user can also change the frequency of the signal during the test. You can stop the test by pressing on the stop icon. You can choose to save the test results in .csv format, your preferred destination. In the sweep frequency mode, the user can select the test to run in three different frequency bands. The user can select between three available frequency bands, wide band, 1 Hz to 10 kHz, normal band, 10 Hz to 10 kHz, and narrow band, 100 Hz to 10 kHz. The user can also select the interval between measurement cycles. In a similar way to the fixed frequency method, the user can choose to see the resistance or the resistivity values. Click on Run to start the measurements. The measurements will be performed and the frequency will automatically be changed within the selected range. In the live chart display, the user can monitor the test results. The test results will be updated at the end of each cycle. The user can use the alternative control keys from the top menu to control the data monitor. The user can save the test data at the end of the test.
the user can upgrade the firmware of Geotech Archon 2 when there is an update file available. Please make sure that the device is in the firmware upgrade mode. If the device is not in the firmware upgrade mode, a message box will appear on the screen. Follow the instructions to turn off the device and turn it on again in the firmware upgrade. To do this, hold the up key and press the power key to turn on the device. Click on the refresh button to proceed. Select the .hex and .eep files provided by Geotech and press the upgrade key. When the upgrade process is complete, the device will be loaded in the fixed frequency mode. The user can also check the accuracy of the device using the Archon verification kit. Select the device verification from the tools menu. Connect the verification device to the Archon 2 device using the COM and FEE terminals. Click on the Run key to start the verification process. For more information, please consult Archon2 User Manual or call Geotech Technical Support. Thank you for watching this video.